All right, so B-Man, we are showing up at the house, this house over here, where we're gonna do another extraction. Homeowners out there doing some landscaping, but I've already got my ladder set up. I'm just pulling my truck down. A little, a little easier spot to uh, get to the bees, but they're right up in that little area there. And uh, flying in and out. So let's get started. All right. Hard is exposed. Very agitated. See a drone comb up there. Lots of drone comb on the back side of this side. See a lot of brood. I see some queen cups. Don't know yet if there's any cells. We're getting ready to swarm or not. But anyway, be man. Trying to rescue these guys. Yes. I know. That piece of plywood is destroyed. Uh, but it's just a piece of plywood. If I continued, I would have ripped down the piece of siding over there, too, and I don't want to do that. Neither does a whole lot. Anyway, I'll do that. Hey guys, just checking in. I only looks like I got a couple more cones left up in there. You guys can see that? It's kind of in the shade underneath this soffit here, but I got a 10 frame medium full of brood and partially full of bees. But I got. I almost fell. One queen cell inside, just in case I don't get the queen. But I got one, two, three, four queen cells. So. Hopefully, if I finish up in time, I'm going to take those queen cells and put them in a few nukes that I got and just make some splits. See ya. And cool. This one's a wrap. I'm just going to come back tonight since they're kind of down the street from where I'm at and just vacuum up the rest of these. Cool. And it's me again. This is the second cutout. I am. In Columbia, Tennessee now. First one was in Hendersonville, close to home. This one couldn't be any further away. Um, it's about, I don't know, hour and 15 minutes away from where I live. Pretty country, um, but I'll give you guys a shot of where we're at. Nothing but trees and fields. And the gates right here where where we're real pulling in. It's kind of a really wooded lot, but on the back side of the lot is all uh, pasture land. So lots of forage areas. Really cool. Nice, nice family. But um, they have bees. Now uh, the bees made it about a, a year or so ago according to them hopefully just a year ago because um, it's 621 <laughs> I, I haven't even done any demo work yet so hopefully this will be um, fairly painful or painless chances are it'll be painful be in the evening they don't really like being budged in the evenings, but this guy's a truck driver, so... Um, yep, there's his truck. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. And another hive. This one's pretty packed. Looks like they've been here for about a year. You guys want to be on video? You want to be on video? There's the homeowners. <laughs> Let's get cutting. You guys, kind of an update here. Uh, it's kind of dark. There's the other flashlight right there. Um, see if I can get back behind here. Show you guys where we're at. What we're up against here.
It's a big hive. Ay, ay, ay. See ya. Well, this one's gone. It is after midnight, and B-Man is out of here. I don't know how good the quality of this is coming in here, but man, long day. Two cutouts complete. It is 12.29, if you can see that. Oh, brother. Um, awesome people. Um, not much brood in this last one. Uh, but a very, very big colony. Got a little bit of honey off of it. And uh, awesome people. Um, yeah, busy day. So, started about 9.30 this morning. It's 12.30 now. See you guys later. Oh, coolest thing about this one. So they had a pet, they had a, uh, pet goat. Most people don't have a pet goat. Theirs was not your average pet goat. It was 250 pounds. They just passed away, unfortunately. But, you know, one of the reasons why I like doing these removals is to meet and hear different stories from different people. And uh, that's definitely a new one for me. So, anyway, it's to be, man. I'll talk to you later. Gonna go back home and see the B-Boy.